Hi, I'm Lee King with Louisiana Football TV Magazine. We have a great lineup tonight. We have head coach Jim Gatlin from Northwood High School. Not Northwood Lena, but Northwood High School in Shreveport. One of the best coaches in the state. Was at Parkway for many years prior to Northwood's done a great job. His quarterback, Luke Bogan, who's a junior. And we've got one of the top senior quarterbacks in the state. That's one of the big sleepers, Austin Bro from Karen Crow High School. We also have calling in the new head coach of Sulphur High School, Cecil Thomas, who was at Walker and before that at Hammond, and he played at Utah. That's right, he played at Utah as an offensive lineman. We have much, much more. Don't turn that channel. We'll be right back. When you come to Relief Windows, your experience starts here. Or here. Then we come to your home. We measure twice. And then we bring custom windows to your home. We remove your old windows. Install your new windows. Clean our mess. And we make sure you're completely satisfied. And all of this before you pay a dime. And at Relief Windows, our number one product is customer satisfaction. Relief Windows! Honey, what's wrong with the disposer? What disposer? Frog drain. Call Roto-Rooter, America's neighborhood drain expert. Louisiana Office Solutions Company is the complete answer for all your office products and janitorial supply needs. From supplies for school or your home office, to styrofoam cups for your restaurant, to pallets of paper and cleaning supplies for your business. Choose from a large selection of furniture from chairs to desks for office or home, traditional and contemporary styles, or work with our design team to create a complete furniture layout for your building. So call or come by Louisiana Office Solutions Company on Florida at Lobdell, where everyone is welcome. Delta World Tire is 100% committed to making every part of your experience with us hassle-free and pleasant. Whether it's tires, brakes, oil change, or scheduled maintenance, Delta World Tire's highest priority is serving you. If you're traveling this season, Delta World Tire is here to help you make sure your vehicle is road ready. If the tire needs replacing, the oil needs changing, or any other scheduled maintenance, Delta World Tire wants to make sure you get there. We're Delta World Tire. Welcome back, Louisiana Football TV Magazine. Uh, the season's been over a long time, but this is the magazine from the past year with all the kids are in it. The, the, to the left, if you've never seen this, that's our South Louisiana copy. To the right is our North Louisiana copy. The only difference is the covers are the D1 kids, 1AA players in the state, and the recruiting section. The high schools are the same, but all the recruitings for that area of the state. and It, al it allows us to do more, and Coach Gatlin, who's at Northwood High School, who's going to be our first guest, can I know appreciates that we can do more, keep it equal north and south, and do more for north yes, like sir. we do South Louisiana. Coach Gatlin, thanks for joining us. Well, it's an honor to be here. Well, I've been watching the show, reading the book magazine for a long time, and uh, glad glad to get down here. Been to your schools, uh, yes, been sir. to Northwood. Yep. I've been to Parkway when you were there. Yeah. I think you were even at Bozier. Bozier, first Bozier High there. McCaffrey for, was the yeah, coach sure back was. then. So we, I, I, I saw you start out, man. You That's know. when my car had twenty-nine thousand miles instead of two hundred ninety-two thousand miles. <laughs> Same car, uh, yeah. okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, coach, uh, again, great to have you. your quarterback's going to join us later. Good, so Luke Bogan. Uh, I'm glad. I was. I was glad to ride down in here with him, and we had we had fun coming down. And then Austin Bro, who a chance you had a chance to meet from yes, Karen sir. Crew, who's fine a young man right there, two nineteen senior. Yeah. He'll be talking about where he might sign or who he's looking at. Uh, 6'2", 180 pounds, uh, four six forty uh, cannon arm. Uh, it's going to be twenty four ACT. Twenty four ACT going to be two hundred pounds in about a year, mm -hmm. and might be uh, you know like I don't want to put the heat on him, but you know Aaron Rodgers went to a junior college. Uh, Baker Mayfield walked on Oklahoma. Yeah. We talked, yeah, about, we talked that. about that. There's all ways, different yeah. ways to get to success. If there's a want to, a lot of times it'll happen. And uh, talking to that young man, I mean, 
You can tell he's 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 a fine character and uh, he 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 looks the part too. He's got that good height on him. I oh can yeah, tell you that. tall yes, and lean. Coach in eighteen uh, finished one of the best years ever at Northwood, ten and three. Great year. Well, we were t eighteen, yeah, ten yeah. and three, eighteen. That's right, two thousand. And then, and then uh, the past year we're twelve and twelve and one. Twelve and one. Yeah. I mean, what is the Secret the last two years. Well, a lot of it's Luke Bogan. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you, and a lot of it's uh, Trayon Jones and Detravian Brown. Football and, uh, gods, yeah, a little and, and yeah. great coaching staff. But like I say, the, and I know I've watched your show, and it, it starts off with administration. If you've got yeah. an administration that's going to work with you and and let you hire, you know, spots to get good coaches in there, and 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 you know, let's face it, the high school level. You may have a offensive coordinator spot open, but he may have to teach chemistry, and right. uh, and sometimes that's pretty hard to find. So you got administrators that will work with you to get those guys in, and that's definitely what we've had at, at North. Or you get a tennis coach who's got a coach running back. That, oh, that's uh, we've, <laughs> right. we've done that, or uh, or it, it, we've even had soccer coaches have to come <laughs> right. join us. So uh, <laughs> it's. Uh, you know, we found some kickers off that soccer That's team. That's right. So that a, there's good. a good. So, there's a good thing. Yes, for that. sir. So it all, the administration put the staff together, and then hopefully you have that good run of athletes. Yeah. And and we've had it the last three or four years. You attended Bozier High, and uh, a lot of people don't know this. I didn't know this after knowing you for 20 plus years, but <laughs> you played defensive end at Northeast, which is now ULM. But what I was laughing at to myself, I was thinking. You look at the DNs today, the Buck linebackers, oh. they run four fives. Uh, it's, it, uh, it, Congratulations it, it, on being yeah, a DN yeah, back in the day. It's, it's, uh, you know, all these new coaches, they want to come out when they're going to these three-man fronts right. and this. You know, I'm looking at it, you know, old school. That's a old 50 front with walkaway right. ends, you know. So it, it, the pendulum just swings back and forth, and, uh, you know, it'll change. I mean, I think one day, you, you know, we've – most schools have gotten away from the wing T now. Probably in 10 more years, you'll see everybody going out of the spread, going back to wing T. Who, who knows? They're always trying to figure out something somebody hadn't done in a while. Unless you're a Voiles, huh? That's right. <laughs> a lot of, still, Bozier High. Bozier High. Bozier High it. still running wing, and, uh, and a lot of these schools are having a lot of success with it. Coach, uh, you were D coordinator a long time for the legendary Coach McCaffrey. Yes, sir. Any thoughts on McCaffrey? What a great Oh, coach. it was great. That was a uh, – a great, great staff too. and him and to work with and uh, and 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 just sort of mentor you through and you know I used to get on to him and think you know what is this guy really doing all the time you know and then you become a head coach and you're like I understand yeah you understand that man the the X's and O's is the smallest part of it it's the you know, dealing with the parents, getting the eligibility right, you know, doing the fun teaching your seven classes yeah getting that teaching load in there and. Uh, so you do, I, you know, and I even tell my young coaches this. I mean, uh, everybody, all these young coaches are sometimes are all gung ho about being a head coach. The funnest time I had was when I was a defensive coordinator and, and head track coach. I mean, you mm -hmm. just got to put your hands on the kids. You got to be with them more and see the development. So the fun part, you know, they don't have to be in such a big hurry to be a head coach. Enjoy the the years of, of being a, an assistant coach and the relationships. That be you, ready for the pressure. Yeah, the relationships <laughs> that you do. And then when that yeah. parent comes up to talk to you, you can always point over there to that head coach and tell them go there. And uh, I, I think that's uh, what we miss a little bit. Well, uh, you do a great job, Coach. We've got about a minute left. Before we go to break, I want to mention, I, growing up, when I was growing up, one of my favorite small players – in Louisiana at LSU was Tony Moss. <laughs> Tony was five, five, maybe five, six, 150, 160. Yeah, he might, might but he been. was like a hummingbird in space. Oh, he, he's, he's the best, and I don't mean to. He was incredible. He would to detract from any of the athletes that I've coached, but you know, I got to coach him early in my career, and honestly, I'll never get, coach a better all around athlete than, than Tony Moss was. I mean, best football player we had if we were going to throw it he played quarterback if, if it was going to be a short pass he was receiver if we were going to run it he was running back and then he'd walk right over there to the basketball court and tear that up and he'd go out base people don't realize how good a baseball player he was he uh i've got tony moss stories out to guzu but he's he's a phenomenal person we're going to take a break but at that time at lsu that tommy hots the quarterback they had a guy named wendell davis another shreveport native and then the following year 
Tony was the lead receiver against Ohio State in Columbus. They played Ohio State. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back. Finally got me, Ben. What's that, Rick? The Clark Street Crater, the mother of all potholes. For decades, it's tormented the people of this town. <laughs> they try to fill it, but it always returns. Got me good. But you know, State Farm's got you, too. You ain't nothing! Are you trash-talking a pothole? Yeah. Yeah, I am. Go with the one that's here to help life go right. State Farm. Call or visit State Farm agent Bill Barkas in Baton Rouge today. Delta World Tire is 100% committed to making every part of your experience with us hassle-free and pleasant. Whether it's tires, brakes, oil change, or scheduled maintenance, Delta World Tire's highest priority is serving you. If you're traveling this season, Delta World Tire is here to help you make sure your vehicle is road ready. If the tire needs replacing, the oil needs changing, or any other scheduled maintenance, Delta World Tire wants to make sure you get there. We're Delta World Tire. Well, it finally happened, Zachary. Somebody burned down my she shed. Nobody burned down your she shed, Cheryl. Well, my she shed's on fire. The she shed was struck by lightning. Zachary, is my she shed covered by State Farm? Your she shed's covered, Cheryl. You hear that, Victor? I'm getting a new she she or she shed. She she? Mm-hmm. That's wonderful news. Go with the one that's here to help life go right. State Farm. Call or visit State Farm agent David Bryan in Walker today. When you come to Relief Windows, your experience starts here. Or here. Then we come to your home. We measure twice. And then we bring custom windows to your home. We remove your old windows. Install your new windows. Clean our mess. And we make sure you're completely satisfied. And all of this before you pay a dime. And at Relief Windows, our number one product is customer satisfaction. Relief. Welcome back, Louisiana Football TV Magazine. I want to introduce Drew Dillio, our State Farm agent, new sponsor, played at Michigan. Uh, did his highlight tape a few years ago, Coach. No one was recruiting him. He signed with Michigan. <laughs> Started as a punt returner. Um, they took him. Had a great career. Was a receiver. Uh, now he's back home like most of us do when you don't play in the NFL. He's uh, working uh, in Baton Rouge as a State Farm agent on O'Neill Lane. And please call him, you know, call him. And uh, this is one of ours, came back to, to work, and uh, a great guy, you know, a legend among Parkview Baptist people. They'll tell you he was the fastest player to ever play at Parkview. You were, we were talking about Tony Moss. Yeah. Um, is there, there's a story that we were talking yeah, well, about. The, Tell him your LSU story. Oh, yeah, the first year coaching and, uh, and with Tony, and, you know, I'm thinking every, every athlete is going to be like Tony, but it was a one-time deal. But he said, he asked me, he said, Coach, would you go on my recruiting trip with me to LSU? And I'm like, I'd never, I'd never been on an LSU recruiting trip, you right. know. So I said, yeah, I'd love to. And I said, who, who are we playing? And he said, well, I really don't even know, but I'll find out. So he comes back and uh, he says, Notre Dame. Notre Dame. Said, yeah, I'll make that trip I'll with you. That'll home. be, so me and his dad went down there and had a good time. And uh, we've got, that's back when they let the recruits and everything and they meet it with the locker room and walk out the tunnel and, uh, that was that was a great experience right there. That was your first trip to LSU. Oh, it was, yes, sir. The Tiger was oh, the, back yeah. in the day. It would be on the field. Yeah, I believe. It, it was. Uh, it was pretty awesome. You know, we're touching that goal post, walking out, and it's you can literally not even hear the person next to you when you walk walk out of that tunnel. It was pretty. It, I think that uh, he oh. told me when we were coming home. He said that's where he was signing. So <laughs> he, I said I don't blame you, son. It. Yes, sir. Coach, I uh, always like to ask coaches from North Louisiana because the show goes north and south. But our, our viewers here in Baton Rouge and Lafayette and Lake Charles, New Orleans, the Bayou Parishes, Hammond, St. Tammany, the uh there's a lot of LSU fans in Shreveport. Oh, yeah, that's their, that's the number one school. And it's, uh, it, we're going to, we enjoy them just like South Louisiana. That's, that's the one thing I, I think, there's a little North Louisiana, yeah, South yeah. Louisiana split and yeah, some things, yeah. but when it comes to the LSU Tigers, Everybody's everybody's on the same bandwagon right yeah, there. Especially the Independence Bowl, uh, they sell out when LSU plays yeah, in that. They, they, the one time they came up there, I was standing in that line waiting to buy a ticket. That's for <laughs> sure. 
Coach, uh, talk about Northwood. Talk about next year. You're going to have 30 seniors next year. Well, it is. We got a chance to have a good team again. We we do. I mean, I, we're 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 setting our goals high. Um, we have the last two years, and that's we're good. Uh, this past year, we had 11 seniors, and this year we're going to have close to 30 of them. So, uh, you know, we've got some some holes we got to fill and, and replace with. Uh, some linebacker positions that we were very good at, a center that we're good, a good slot back. But, you know, I think if we can fill those spots, uh, mostly everybody else returns. Uh, our skilled people, you know, with Luke Bogan at quarterback and Detravian Brown at, at the receiving spot, the big receiver, we're good there. Got some, uh, some guys that got some good experience last year in the skills. We've got a very good young running back that, that's yeah, coming back. The receiver is really good. Yes, sir. Young, big, yeah, tall receiver. Yeah. He, he's a, he looks good and uh, very athletic. Got a, a Corey Marshall. Corey Marshall, a, a, a big tackle. He, you know, he's going six four, about three twenty five. Got a junior tackle that started for us for two years, and, and Cameron Foster. That uh, you know, he's six three, and he's well over three hundred. So we'll have two to three guys close to that three hundred range that'll be out there and. Uh, if we can spot a couple more in there, we can. Uh, Maybe a couple in rolling. Uh, I'm hoping we. <laughs> I hope we get some. You know, we're always. We've all been lucky and had a move in or two. Yeah. That yeah. have helped us in the years past. So, uh, yeah, that you just hope you get lucky and you got to, You know, the injuries. Uh -huh. Got to stay healthy. I want to yeah. ask you about two of your former players. All right. Davenport at Louisiana he Tech. Did. Your D he tackle. Did. He's coming along. He is waiting he, his turn. He is, and, and you know that's probably. I was talking to the Tech coaches that came in. You know, they're, they're. Probably their deepest position is that D line, yeah. you know. So he's getting in there and getting his plays. And a great, a great young man. He's a, he's going to be a very much of a success story. He, uh, you know, a lot of people didn't even think that he would, you know, get the opportunity to go to college. And now he's going to come out with a college degree. And uh, big kid too. He is, and he's already started a little uh, business. He's big in the graphics okay. and, and right and cut, and he's done like. Uh, like a T-shirt business there at Tech, and while he's going been, to Tech, yes, sir, and been making a lot of T-shirts out for the student body, and and uh, he was telling me about that. So very, very happy. Not with bad that. for the big nah, six-two, three hundred right. pound D tackle. Yeah, he was a good one. And, and the you, other, helped, you helped with him too. Yeah, I appreciate and it. And the other, the other kid, who's I can't wait. I, I hate to say NFL, but I, I think this kid's gonna play in the NFL. Marquis Stevenson. At he's, Houston, who had some injuries at yeah, first, he he's, but he came back great this past. He year. had a great year. He's he's wide receiver. He is, and he's uh, you know obviously exceptionally fast, and uh, but catches the ball well, and he's tough. Yeah, he's tough. But he has had some misfortunes. His first year, he was going to start as a true freshman, and uh, about a week before the season, broke his collarbone, and that derailed him for that year. And then the year after that, he. He uh, goes down about a week before, about five days before it tears his ACL. So for two years there, he didn't get to play. But it, uh, honestly, in the long run, he was in the weight room working hard. He stayed with it, uh, didn't just get frustrated and pack up, it up yeah. and give up. And he's there. Had a great year, all conference, over 1,000 yards in receiving. Uh, I believe he was in the top, you know, 10 on, on catches over 50 yards. And uh, he's, you know, He's going to be working for his third head coach since he's been down Isn't that there. Amazing. But they've all been coaches that like to throw it, so he's been blessed with that. And, and uh, they always hard. And, they, and they all, they, that's right. And they, they all know about Marquez before they get there. So Kevin Sumlin was before the yeah. other three. Yeah, so there's that's always right. a big name. Yeah. Major Applewhite and uh, now Holgerson from West Virginia. We're going to take a break. We're going to have more with Coach Jim Gatlin, Northwood High School, and talk about his team. Uh, his quarterback, also the district, some of the teams. Uh, much, much more. We'll be right back. Delta World Tire is 100% committed to making every part of your experience with us hassle-free and pleasant. Whether it's tires, brakes, oil change, or scheduled maintenance, Delta World Tire's highest priority is serving you. If you're traveling this season, Delta World Tire is here to help you make sure your vehicle is road ready. If the tire needs replacing, the oil needs changing, or any other scheduled maintenance, Delta World Tire wants to make sure you get there. We're Delta World Tire. Handling a gator like this can be scary, and this is pretty risky too. But do you know what's really dangerous? Dealing with the insurance company after your car wreck. 
If you've been injured, get a fighter. That's why you need to call me. I'm not afraid to handle them, and I'll fight to get you every dollar you deserve. So if you've been hurt, hire a professional. Just call me. Get it done. Get Gordon. Get it done. Call 888-8888 or go to getgordon.com. Louisiana Office Solutions Company is the complete answer for all your office products and janitorial supply needs. From supplies for school or your home office, to styrofoam cups for your restaurant, to pallets of paper and cleaning supplies for your business. Choose from a large selection of furniture from chairs to desks for office or home, traditional and contemporary styles, or work with our design team to create a complete furniture layout for your building. So call or come by Louisiana Office Solutions Company on Florida at Lobdell, where everyone is welcome. Finally got me, Ben. What's that, Rick? The Clark Street Crater, the mother of all potholes. For decades, it's tormented the people of this town. <laughs> they try to fill it, but it always returns. <laughs> got me good. But you know, State Farm's got you, too. You ain't nothing! Are you trash-talking a pothole? Yep. Yeah. yeah, I am. Go with the one that's here to help life go right. State Farm. Call or visit State Farm agent Jim Crane in Baton Rouge today. Welcome back. Before we go to Coach Cecil Thomas, the new head coach at Sulphur High School, I want to thank Superior Grill. I know Coach Gatlin's familiar with them. Uh, in Shreveport, they're on Lion Avenue. They, in Bad the Rouge, one. they're on Government Street. And they have a new play location, Coach, on Highland Road. Mm. And in New Orleans, they're on St. Charles Avenue. Thanks, Bob Kershaw, a Menden native, former Northwestern State football player. Remember and that, his man. family have uh, been real supportive now been a been a supporter of our show and magazine for 23 years so we thank them and and um want to go ahead and go to uh our coach our new head coach congratulations coach cecil thomas the new head coach at sulfur high school congratulations coach uh, thanks lee appreciate it very much man i remember seeing you at hammond high school in the halls at hammond and you hadn't been back long from utah where you played and you were coaching at Cottonwood High School for many years, one of the top programs in Utah, and you were excited to be back in Louisiana. Yes, sir. It's, well, this is home for me. Uh, so I was born and raised, and I love, I love the, I love the state, love everything about the state of Louisiana. And uh, you know, Utah was good for me for the time I was in Utah, and uh, a lot of great experiences in Utah. But at some point, I always wanted to get back home and and uh, get back home, get back to my roots. And coach, I was able to, you know, you were at Walker and you ended up being the head coach and coaching the team. You did a great job at Walker. And, and now you've got a great program. You're the head coach at Sulphur. Uh, what's your thoughts on Sulphur? I mean, they've very competitive program, a lot of, lot of backing, a lot of passionate fans. Yeah, it's, uh, it's really, truly a dream job, this, this opportunity at Sulphur. Uh, the day I stepped on campus, I knew it was special uh, when it came for my first interview. And, uh, just seeing the, the the physical plan of the place, the stadium, the facilities, it was just uh, it was just phenomenal. And uh, and then after getting to meet some people, I've been over the last couple of days doing my paperwork and getting to meet some people. We had a uh, coaches show last night. I think we had about 250 people show for my coaches show. It was, just, it was just awesome, man. Great experience, and everybody's everybody's excited. The community's excited. Uh, the kids are excited, and we're. Uh, we're ready to get to work, man. It's just, uh, to me, it's a dream job. I mean, I was really excited about getting this opportunity. It's, you know uh, what really I like, really Coach? Impressive. Wherever you coach, your offensive lines are phenomenal. You having that pedigree on, on your experience playing line. Um, you've got some big linemen coming back at Sulphur, so it's got to make yeah, you feel good. You've got something to work with. Yeah, it's a good positive. we got some really good-looking kids. We're long, we're big, we're thick. Uh, now we got to get in the weight room, make sure we're strong enough, but... Uh, you know, we're, uh, it's going to be fun working, working with this group of kids and, and building building the culture here like we need to build it and, uh, and put Sulphur back on the map. I mean, that's the goal. It goes to uh, turn it around and uh, bring Sulphur back to prominence. Too much pride here in this community uh, not, to get this, not to get this program back to prominence. Cecil, so have you even moved yet? Have you had time to even move? Uh, I moved over the weekend this weekend coming up. <laughs> People uh, don't understand Monday. it. You take a job, then... You've got all these things you got to do, and then and, and it takes a while to, to get get everything moved and everything. But uh, uh, Monday's that, my first start. Monday will be my start date over here uh, next Monday. So, yeah. Um, coach uh, got here. Head coach Jim Gatlin from Northwood High School in Shreveport. 
um, and he, he might have something to, to ask you. Well, Coach, just congratulations. I know that's a community that really supports their, uh, their school very well. I know one of my coaches coached there about maybe about four or five years ago, Coach Jester, and we've actually right. modeled our – our uh, fundraiser, that uh, auction, steak night, you know, dinner type that, that y'all do. Uh, now, I wish we made the kind of money that y'all been making up there the last three or four years, but uh, it, it's getting right. better and better. But uh, I know that that community really, really supports y'all's program. So, yeah, yeah, I, yes, I'm like you. I think that's a good dream job for you. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt about it. Uh, Coach, any, any final thoughts on the Hammond kids and the Walker kids you got to know about – Moving on the next level, any of the kids that you were glad to work with the last five years? Yeah, I mean our Tyrone Tyrone Lewis kid that you know was a big big time freshman for me at Hammond. You know that group that group of seniors at Hammond right now, or, or the group that would have finished out. You know that my I think it was my second year at Hammond. I think we had 14 freshmen start on Friday night in five a football. Uh, just because the cupboard was so empty over there. So them yeah. kids have played a lot of football. They've gotten better through the years, and I know Tyrone Lewis is committed to Kansas State, uh, and he'll sign there, and he's done a great job academically, and he's kid, or Armani Gilmore was my quarterback, and they're going to a meet. Uh He's going to Kentucky. Uh, a couple of the bigs got a chance to go somewhere, too, so uh, them kids done a great job getting themselves out, and at Walker, uh, B.J. Lockhart um, is committed to Garden City, which is a great opportunity for him, go to Garden City, Kansas. Uh, yeah. That's gonna be a scary deal, you know, because the profit kid from uh, the profit Jimmy on profit from Scotlandville also committed to Garden City. So there you go, Jimmy Jimmy on profit and and BJ Lockhart now back in players the there, coach. That's gonna be a scary defense. I'm excited to watch that defense come together yeah. uh, next year for them cats at their Garden City. We got a quarterback uh, that's coming on from Karen Crow, Austin Bro. He might end up in Kansas when it's said and done. So yeah, uh, uh, but but uh, coach, they're congrats. doing really nice. Congratulations on getting the job, and I'm um, excited for you, and, and good luck. I know spring is around the corner, and I know you're going to get started really soon. Yeah, yeah we're excited to get after it. Uh, we're trying to, I think we got rumble in the spring game, so we'll be tested right out the gate. So Not not an easy one, but a good a good no. test, huh? Yeah, great test. You know, that's what we got to do. We got we to gotta, we gotta expose the kids to good talent and, uh, you know, get ready for this district we got over here because it's not a – as you know, this district just as tough as – the district I'm leaving. So. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, Coach, good fun. luck to you, man. Thanks for taking the time to call us. Thank you. I uh, appreciate, appreciate right, you having me on, man. I appreciate it. Anything okay. you need, let me know. Okay. Coach Cecil Thomas. Coach, uh, those jobs don't open up no, every day. No, that's uh, – he, he – that it sounds like they got the right guy. Yeah, he, he – and, and they're going to have an O-line day one. No, I, I, you, can, you can look at a picture and see that. At, at, <laughs> Hammond, at Hammond High School, his O-line average 296.3. And all five of those kids are going to end up signing college somewhere. And when he came in, they hadn't won a game in, in, in a while. And uh, like I said, his quarterback, who I saw play as a freshman, is signed with Kentucky and might end up starting in Kentucky in a year or two. That's a program on the upswing, too. Right there. Yeah, and A-Meet. You know, A-Meet's not lacking uh, for, for players. No, they've got to, we've, we've had to run through there when we were at Bojo High School, and that's tough. We've got two minutes before we go to break, Coach. I want to get your thoughts. We're going to bring Austin Bro on later and also from Karen Crow and also your quarterback, Luke Bogan. But I think he's the best junior quarterback in the state, football player-wise. That's my, uh, my endorsement. Yes, sir. I saw him play. I appreciate that. Not yeah. highlight tape. Yeah. saw two or three of your full you games. Did. You did. You came me. up in person. And, 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 I, and, and you sent me a couple of other yeah. ones. And I think, you know, I think when you see him in person, it, it's a better understanding of what he does on the field with the leadership qualities and stuff that he has. And I – Honestly, I think, Lee, sometimes the camps and, and all this stuff, that you don't get to see what a kid actually does during a football game. Uh, camps have their place, don't right. get me wrong. Right. Uh, and the coaches want to see a quarterback's arm strength, and they want to see a kicker's leg strength Hunter, and deep fun snapper. and stuff. But, you know, when you see these young men and what they can do on the field, and I think sometimes – the parents don't realize they're spending all this money and sending them to camps and doing all this seven on seven and all this stuff. These recruiters are going to come through the high schools to see that because first of all, they're going to grab a transcript and right. they're going to see what see the grades. grades and they're going to see the grades in the ACT. And then when that guy has that potential, then he, then he asks that coach, Hey, what can he play? And you know what? The, and also, uh, 
you know, the, the big thing about recruiting, the toughness, you can't get that in a camp. No. It, the game's for pads. You know. You know, how, how many seven on seven teams you watch that are all world in seven on seven and they they may not even win a, they may win one or two district ball games right. because they got a big well, flag pretty, football is never going to be nah, tackle football. It's not going to be. So I've talked to recruiters and I've, I personally asked them, how about the seven on seven? said, well, if we're recruiting a kid, we might stop by and look to see how he's doing, shake his hand, make sure. But he said, coach, he said, that seven on seven doesn't turn it. We want to see what they're they doing on the film. real football field. How? I mean, it's a tough sport. Yeah. If you're not tough, you can't play this game. So. And, and the other thing is, is uh, you know, when you when you play in the game, you know, the little things, the, uh, you know, the uncanny football high IQ is oh, yeah. what I call it. We'll talk more about that. We're going to take a break. Okay. When we come back, we've got one more segment with Coach, and then we're going to have Austin Bro join us from Karen Crow, and then after that. The next segment after that, Luke Bogan, the quarterback, coach's quarterback from Northwood. We'll be right back. Louisiana Office Solutions Company is the complete answer for all your office products and janitorial supply needs. From supplies for school or your home office, to styrofoam cups for your restaurant, to pallets of paper and cleaning supplies for your business. Choose from a large selection of furniture from chairs to desks for office or home, traditional and contemporary styles, or work with our design team to create a complete furniture layout for your building. So call or come by Louisiana Office Solutions Company on Florida at Lobdell, where everyone is welcome. Delta World Tire is 100% committed to making every part of your experience with us hassle-free and pleasant. Whether it's tires, brakes, oil change, or scheduled maintenance, Delta World Tire's highest priority is serving you. If you're traveling this season, Delta World Tire is here to help you make sure your vehicle is road ready. If the tire needs replacing, the oil needs changing, or any other scheduled maintenance, Delta World Tire wants to make sure you get there. We're Delta World Tire. Handling a gator like this can be scary, and this is pretty risky too. But do you know what's really dangerous? Dealing with the insurance company after your car wreck. If you've been injured, get a fighter. That's why you need to call me. I'm not afraid to handle them, and I'll fight to get you every dollar you deserve. So if you've been hurt, hire a professional. Just call me. Get it done. Get Gordon. Get it done. Call 888-8888 or go to getgordon.com. When you come to Relief Windows, your experience starts here. Or here. Then we come to your home. We measure twice. And then we bring custom windows to your home. We remove your old windows. Install your new windows. Clean our mess. And we make sure you're completely satisfied. And all of this before you pay a dime. And at Relief Windows, our number one product is customer satisfaction. Relief Windows! Welcome back, Lee Burkeen, Louisiana Football Magazine. We have Coach Jim Gatlin, the head coach of Northwood High School in Shreveport. I'll say not Northwood Lena, because there's a Northwood Lena before you get to Natchitoches. So just to make that clear, some people say Franklinton or Franklin, yes. and they get those confused, or Washita and Washita Baptist. Yeah, I see that. And there's two woodlawns. Yeah. There's a woodlawn of Shreveport and a woodlawn of Baton Rouge. Luke was actually on 24-7 sports was listed as Northwood Lena till about a month and a half what? ago. Sure was. <laughs> In fact, the Northwood Lena coach at the conference told me, Coach, who is this Luke Bogan? I've got that's a, not good. I've got a bucket full of mail from him. I'm like, oh well that's they're getting that's his a, mail? Yes. So we had we got that changed about a month and a half ago. So, so you gotta drive to the Flatwoods to go get the mail now? And I actually the the, the it's two hour, two and coach, and a half coach hours. Webb, the head coach there was actually on my staff at Parkway. So it's the only reason I really know this, you know. So, <laughs> uh, well, Luke, now you know why the mail coach oh, was yeah, not holding mail. your mail. That's right. That's right. <laughs> um, speaking of your district, tough. I think personally, outside of a um, couple of 5A districts and a couple of 4As in South Louisiana and one in Monroe. Yeah. It's one of the top five yeah. in the state regardless of classification. And see, Lee, I don't know if a lot of people, you know, down here in the South know. See, we were actually, our district is very tough when it was, seven or eight teams. Now Benton moved up to 5A, Evangels come down into our district, and then the LHSA put us and Monroe all in the same district. Waspman now. Yes. Well, Waspman's not in our district. 
but yes. they're on the schedule. Yes, yes. I, I'm scheduling them. Okay. And uh, no and easy games. No, coach, but see year. now we've got Evangel in the district. Uh, essentially Neville and Bastrop in our district. But what we've done as district coaches is we split it. Woodlawn. So we've got a, a we, we drew, we drew. So, you know, you, you just don't know. Benton, the, yes, the Wood, North Woodlawn. North DeSoto. Wood, North DeSoto, Woodlawn. Huntington's an up and coming program. I mean, they in have, Arthur. they're one so of the best looking teams off they, the they, they, they're, they're good looking kids. And, they, and my defensive coordinator, Stephen Dennis, is now their head coach. And uh, he, he will, He'll bring a winning culture over there, and he'll he'll do well over there. This You'll is where recruiting's really gotten out of hand, and coach, you know this. <laughs> Huntington has a quarterback, Jordan Crompton. I know he's not developed. He hasn't played long. Hasn't played the position long. He's raw, but here's a six-four, two hundred twenty-pound quarterback. Sure is. Who can run and, and he's he runs qualified. and throws, throws pretty pass. And no and one's recruiting him. Not when I was last thing, Stephen. I think some people were looking at him to even move him to a you know maybe a different position, but. Uh, he, he is, and, 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 and I, I think talking to Coach Dennis, uh, the boy was never a problem or anything no, like that. No, great kid. So, he got know. two big, two nose yeah. guards. Oh, yeah, big Six, pack, three, yes. 300 pounds Big, each. strong. I think one of them benched over 500 pounds. I and, mean, uh, and they can move. Yeah, they are. So it, it, we play good football up there. And Woodlawn uh, goes about 300. Uh, Woodlawn, line. Coach Wilson and has done a good job over there and always going to have a bunch of recruits. And, uh, and it, it's – you know, and then you know, when like say when Ben Parkway. was in there, Parkway over there in Five A, you got you got airline playing good ball. Shreve's a Shreve's a program right now. Great that's, program that's right coming now. up and, and playing really good ball in the Five A area. And they're so, young. Yeah, they are. So Spovado's doing nowhere a good to job. hide, huh? Coach? And you've always got Bird. You got you Bird. Know, Bird sitting Suggs there. So has been there yeah, he's been there. He, we, we're we're sort of the grandfathers. And over Southwood's there. Got, had a good team. Coach this McLean year. does a great job over there. I mean, some, sometimes his kids get. Pulled and picked and pulled to different places. And, and Menden. Uh, and Menden with Coach Hurd, uh, another coach that was on my staff at one time. And uh, and he's done a great job. Two years ago, rocking and rolling at Menden High School. And uh, he, he'll have that team back up there. They're just coming back through their young cycle. And I mean, it, it is a war every week. It is. It's, if you go through our districts, it, it's, it's, it's tough. And North DeSoto's young next year. They, well, that, they, everybody's coming back. Yeah, they do. They got their the quarterback, you know, the quarterback and his brother, the receiver, and and the pro sales. Yes, and you know that's you know Ab sons, you know step sons, yeah. and uh, so they'll be you know they're they're probably excellent. We can't enough. leave out. They're they're probably excellent and Owen right now. You we know, can't so. leave out Manny. No, no, oh, yeah, Manny. They're not for it. No, but, but they they Manny's. I mean, their goal is to be in that dome, and they reach it, you know. So uh, that's a you know, that's a program that's, that's a, got some yeah, talent. It is. It, it's we've. I think everybody's raised the bar up there a little bit in the Shreveport Bossier area, and it, it's it's good football. Anything that you'd like to see change, coach, in recruiting with college coaches with the NCA? Maybe the NCA can change some things. I, I wish that honestly, I, you know, I think you know, in the world of education, we're told in our classes that that. Kids don't have the attention span that they once had, you know, that, that, you know, hey, you need, if you got an hour and a half class, you need to have a little 15, 20 minute session. I really wish they'd back off the, I wish the NCAA would change or, or the ACT people. These kids can't go in and take a four hour test and stay focused for four hours. I mean, they're worried about what they're missing on their phone. Right, you know, for five get minutes, them, yeah. yeah, so get, a, get, get, don't get that test, have something, but maybe a little shorter time test to evaluate these kids. I think they lose their focus and then they, they don't make the grade. Or over two days grade. maybe. Yeah, split it Half up in two days. That would be a good thing. But it's, we're told at the high school level, even your practices, hey, they don't need to be over two hours and get this down and do – well, but then they go in a four-hour test really tells whether they're going to go to college or not. And, and I think that something needs to be addressed. Coach, thank you for joining us. Oh, man, it was love a it. pleasure Appreciate here it. from me. And look, you're going to leave with one of these. Oh, Louisiana well, fish fries. I'm with you. And uh, okay. we're going to mail you a superior grill gift certificate. Oh, and it, uh, it worth the trip, man. Hang tight. I know Luke's uh, yes, sir. drove down with you and Luke's going to be coming. But Austin Bro, I want to, I great hear quarterback yeah. from Karen Crow is going to be joining us next. And we'll, we'll, we've got two more segments. When we come back, we're going to, let you meet Austin Bro from Karen Crow High School. To me, one of the big sleepers of the 19 class. That's right, he's currently a senior. We'll be right back.
Honey, what's wrong with the disposer? What disposer? Frog drain. Call Roto-Rooter, America's neighborhood drain expert. When you come to Relief Windows, your experience starts here. Or here. Then we come to your home. We measure twice. And then we bring custom windows to your home. We remove your old windows. Install your new windows. Clean our mess. And we make sure you're completely satisfied. And all of this before you pay a dime. And at Relief Windows, our number one product is customer satisfaction. Relief Windows! Well, it finally happened, Zachary. Somebody burned down my she shed. Nobody burned down your she shed, Cheryl. Well, my she shed's on fire. Your she shed was struck by lightning. Zachary, is my she shed covered by State Farm? Your she shed's covered, Cheryl. You hear that, Victor? I'm getting a new she she or she shed. She she? Mm hmm. That's wonderful news. Go with the one that's here to help life go right. State Farm. Call or visit State Farm agent David Wilcox in Gonzales today. Handling a gator like this can be scary. And this is pretty risky too. But do you know it's really dangerous? Dealing with the insurance company after your car wreck. If you've been injured, get a fighter. That's why you need to call me. I'm not afraid to handle them, and I'll fight to get you every dollar you deserve. So if you've been hurt, hire a professional. Just call me. Get it done. Get Gordon. Get it done. Call 888-8888 or go to getgordon.com. Welcome back. Uh, our recruiting segment, before we show the highlights, is sponsored by the Ryder Clinic, Dr. Kelly Ryder on Perkins Road in Baton Rouge, uh, a Louisiana native, uh, one of the best injury doctors in the state of Louisiana, has clients come all, from all over the country, a lot of pro athletes, uh, non-athletes. And um, before we get to the highlights, I want to go ahead and introduce uh, our guest, Every, every year I see a bunch of kids that are coming up that are sleepers, that if they had another six months to, to fill out or if they had another year to play their position would be another level when they sign, but they're maybe a year away, and, and, and if they go do that, they're going to be a big-time recruit. And one of those kids is joining us now, Austin Bro from Karen Crow High School, a quarterback at a very prestigious program. We all know of Kevin Falk, Derek Beavers, Marcus Camouche, um, you know, we can go on and on with Damian James, all the great players that came out of Karen Crow. They've had some linemen. I've never seen a drop-back quarterback who can run like my guest Austin Bro. Austin, thanks for joining oh, us. It's great to be here. Man, 6'2", pushing 180, run 4'6". You look faster on film. I did your highlight tape. I know this. I went through all your games. Um, when we send the highlight tape out to the coaches, they were impressed with the ability, your ability to run and your ability to throw because you can gun it and you can run it and you're tough. And, and I told your parents way back, I said, man, once the weight comes, you're going to be D1. But you got a, a chance right now to go to a junior college, a couple of them. Yes, sir. And in a year, because you're qualified, come back and go to a big school. You excited? Oh, yes, sir. I'm really excited to get, like, to be have to have the opportunity to go uh, to a JUCO, and then since I qualify to go get out and go D1. Do the Aaron Rodgers route. Yes, sir. I'm not saying you're Aaron Rodgers <laughs> yet, but I'm saying that route is what he did. Uh, yes, now, sir. you went out to California. Uh, yes, Big sir. Big Cal, you've never been to California. No, sir, that was the farthest I've been from home. You and your dad went? Uh, yes, sir. And y'all went to Antelope Valley Junior College, which has produced a lot of college players and some pro players. Yes, sir. And they want you. Yes, sir, they do. And then you have Highland Kansas Junior College. We helped a kid by the name of Brandon Bajeron five years ago from St. Thomas Moore. Did his highlight tape, and he had a great career there. You're in a, a good yeah. fickle right now. Oh, yes, sir. You're trying to decide? Yes, sir. I'm, I'm still looking at my options to see what gives me, like, the best opportunity to get out, go D1. So I'm just taking all that into consideration right now. What do you like most about California, the junior college? Uh, the weather. The weather is really <laughs> nice out there. Not cold. It's not cold. Uh, and it's like, it's in a valley, so it's like the practice field, the game field is surrounded by mountains. Man, that's so neat. Oh yeah, it's, it's nice out there. I've helped them with over 100 kids go to California Junior Colleges, so um, you'll be good there. And then Highland, Kansas, you didn't visit yet. Uh, no, they have a snowstorm right now, so. 
waiting to uh, visit over there. Yeah, great league. Cam Newton played in that league. Brandon Bajeron. A lot of quarterbacks have played in it. We got some highlights we want to show Austin or, or to show you off. This is the, the, the Crow, man, in the white jersey. Look at this cannon over the middle, man. Against Sulphur, we had their coach, their <laughs> new coach on. This is you running, running out. I mean, your feet. You're throwing on the run, and you, I mean, this is a cross play that you see in the pros. I mean, you ran an offense that wasn't really a passing offense. It was more toward the run, but when you did throw it, you were highly successful like we're watching here. Where did you get these feet to move like this? Uh, I worked with a quarterback country uh, in Alabama, and I moved. Watch this set against uh, St. Thomas. STM. Yeah. Hardest pass to throw is over the middle with the safeties, and you calm. Oh, yes, sir. I, what are you thinking when you get the snap? You're just thinking. Oh, I look at the safeties. I see what they do first. And then me and Desmond, uh, the number four, I threw two on that play. Uh, we had a lot of chemistry. Like in the offseason, we'd stay in work. So when I saw the safety take one step up, I knew I had Desmond. Johnny, right? Yes, sir. Desmond, Johnny. And here's another play. Man, you sell the fake like you're in college. You found your guy. Bam, he takes care of it. Yes, sir. You get any McDonald's meal free after the game, after these touchdowns or oh, what? I wish. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Here's another play inside the 10. You're rolling out. A lot of rollouts, a lot of throws. This is a hard pass. They okay, said so that was uh, to go to overtime against Turlings. So that was a big play. Our tight end, Blake Lacombe, caught that. And, and every week, tough schedule. You heard oh, yeah. our coaches earlier, but y'all have a tough district. Oh, yeah. I, f I think we have the toughest like district in, in 5A. Uh, huh? In 4A. And, and yeah. it's, uh, well, I'll say 5A. It's like yeah. a 5A. It's like a 5A, yeah. Um, but but who was the toughest team you faced? Oof, probably St. Thomas Moore. They they have a lot of players, and then the coach is doing great things over there for them. So tell everybody, when would you like all the recruiting in? You you have a, a an idea when you might decide? I'm trying to decide the next week. I'm just weighing all my options, looking to see which has the best fit for me. You excited? Oh yes, sir. You know, all these schools came out. You had a lot of D3 schools come yeah, out. I had a lot of D3s. Some uh, D2s. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. And some other junior. You had a junior college uh, in, in California. Want you to another one. Yeah. In Palm, Palm Springs. In Palm Springs. Yes, sir. And so, I mean, it's good to be wanted. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. So, I know you're going to be successful, Austin. In the end, you want it. You, you're going to be 200 pounds in about a year. You'll put a little weight on before you go to junior college. When do they want you to report, both of them? Uh, July. And then so. you start training and, and going at it. Man, good luck That's to it. you. Thank you. Uh, I wanted the state of Louisiana to know who you were outside of Karen Crow. And now they do. They know who Austin Bro is. Oh, thank you. Appreciate you having me. All right, me. man. Thank you. That was Austin Bro. When we come back, we got a junior quarterback from Northwood in Shreveport, Luke Bogan, who would join us, I think, is the top junior quarterback in the state. We'll be right back. Delta World Tire is 100% committed to making every part of your experience with us hassle-free and pleasant. Whether it's tires, brakes, oil change, or scheduled maintenance, Delta World Tire's highest priority is serving you. If you're traveling this season, Delta World Tire is here to help you make sure your vehicle is road ready. If the tire needs replacing, the oil needs changing, or any other scheduled maintenance, Delta World Tire wants to make sure you get there. We're Delta World Tire. When you come to Relief Windows, your experience starts here. Or here. Then we come to your home. We measure twice. And then we bring custom windows to your home. We remove your old windows. Install your new windows. Clean our mess. And we make sure you're completely satisfied. And all of this before you pay a dime. And at Relief Windows, our number one product is customer satisfaction. Relief. Ben. What's that, Rick? 
the Clark Street crater, the mother of all potholes. For decades, it's tormented the people of this town. <laughs> they try to fill it, but it always returns. Got me good. But you know, State Farm's got you, too. You ain't nothing! Are you trash-talking a pothole? Yeah. Yeah, I am. Go with the one that's here to help life go right. State Farm. Call or visit State Farm agent Bill Barkas in Baton Rouge today. Handling a gator like this can be scary. And this is pretty risky too. But do you know it's really dangerous? Dealing with the insurance company after your car wreck. If you've been injured, get a fighter. That's why you need to call me. I'm not afraid to handle them, and I'll fight to get you every dollar you deserve. So if you've been hurt, hire a professional. Just call me. Get it done. Get Gordon. Get it done. Call 888-8888 or go to getgordon.com. Welcome back. Lee Burkeen, Louisiana Football TV Magazine. Uh, you've been able to meet Jim Gatlin, the head coach of Norfolk, uh, Cecil Thomas, the new sulfur coach, and quarterback Austin Bro, who's going. We don't know where he's going yet, but wherever he goes, he's going to be successful. One junior college he'll pick. He'll stay one year. He's got a 24 ACT, and kid's going to be a success story. Uh, he'll have uh, some college. His quarter, he'll have a quarterback coach, that type of stuff. But this, this kid next, Luke Bogan, his dad is his quarterback coach. And Luke Bogan is at Norfolk High School. What is that like to have your dad as your quarterback coach? Uh, it has its ups and downs. You know, you get to be with your dad, but <laughs> sometimes it feels like you can't do anything right. In the heat of the yeah. moment, you understand him, he understands yeah. you? you? Throw a long touchdown, but you made the wrong read or something, but it all worked out for you, but you still did the wrong thing. So it's all right, I guess. But. Luke, out of all the film I watched, and I'm being honest here with everybody, and I don't care who, you know, hopefully all the colleges are watching, but as a junior in your class, the 220 class, I think you're the best quarterback in the state. Um, there are a couple of kids that are taller, that are ranked higher. Yeah. I don't get into all of that. I just look at the best quarterback, kind of like Austin Bro earlier in his class at Karen Crow, but you check all the boxes. Your feet in the pocket, yeah. like Austin. Your touch on the ball, you're very competitive. Yeah. Um, your touch on the ball, you've got some uncanny college ability mm -hmm. when you get the ball in your hands after you snap the ball. Looks like a young Drew Brees type of guy. <laughs> yeah. But people need to get over, I think, that 5'11 and a half, that's Drew Brees' height. That's yeah. your height. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. and your dad's 6'2, so you might yeah. grow a little more, but yeah, almost 3,000 yards passing. Something. Yeah. And phenomenal. You've got some good players, but y'all work well together. Great coaching. Yeah, we got a lot of good offensive minds on our staff, and they give me a little bit of freedom too, you know. And we all get new ideas. If I got an idea, they listen to me, and I listen to them, you know. And we all kind of most of the time think the same thing. And so we got our receivers are football smart. They got football IQ too and they understand the game. Well, let's show that. off your plays like we did with Austin Pro. Let's go to your highlights. This is your team in the white uh, dropping back, slinging it, man. I mean, yeah, you can see Trey on speed on that play. Just And that's your young receiver. He's going to yeah. be a, a young guy too, but dropping back, I mean, just your quick release. Yeah. Trey on Jones there. A uh, lot of big D lines in your district. A lot of big yeah. guys. A lot of speed. Yeah. Um, your fakes, I mean, you're good at avoiding that big hit on you. Yeah, it's you just, uh, that's a big part of playing quarterback is you don't need to take a lot of big hits. And I don't necessarily like sliding, but I kind of feel weak when I do that. But yeah, I don't well, you don't take wanna, the big you know, hit either, you get know. Hurt. Here's getting inside the 10. Again, like we show with Austin, the fake pump, bam, over the shoulder. Um, but I'm, you know, we want you to come on because you're going to be a senior next year, 220 class. Yes, uh, this is when you put the rankings aside and say, okay, the best quarterback in the state in a game that does everything, and I, that's why I think you're the best junior in the state. And for people to see this, um, your ability to run. Kyler Murray's 5'9". Yeah. Right, Oklahoma. You ever look at that? So, yeah. man, here's a guy 5'9". Yeah. And he's a perfect. When's the I Heisman Trophy? I can't find a better example of a shorter quarterback than him. But he's got elite speed too. But he's he's a thrower first before he runs. You know, and 
He's a pocket he gets, guy. Yeah, yeah, he gets the job done with ease. So, um, who did you grow up liking college-wise? Do you have a school or two that you grew up liking? Uh, I'm a big Oklahoma fan, really? mainly because of Baker Mayfield. But I've always kind of liked I like Lincoln Riley, his offense and everything, and that's kind of my team right Is there. Is there another one after Oklahoma? Uh, I like LSU just because they're my state, you know, but. I admire a lot of Alabama. I like Alabama. I, I got a lot of respect for teams and the like how they play and their coaches, you know. But you got an idol from Shreveport out of all of those great Shreveport quarterbacks. Uh, I mean, I mean, it goes all the way back before you were born, David Woodley, yeah, late David Woodley. Not and, really. I guess me and my brother have always kind of. It's more of a competition thing. With though, your between, older brother, yeah, who was that? Me and my Northwood. Brother. Yeah, a he was. He Who's was. the better quarterback? Uh, I mean, <laughs> I guess me, but I don't want to be mean to him. You enjoying, you join, you got another year left mm -hmm. and uh, aspirations to get to the state title game. Yeah, that's, I really feel like we're really close. You know, we made it to the quarterfinals the last two years and something about Warren Easton and Carr, but we're, we're going to get over the hump. I can, I feel it coming. We just, we've been out athleted as a team you know we got guys yeah. that can match up with them but with as normal a, teams. As, yeah as a whole team we can't match up with them but we're getting there who do you like to play against the most in district any team comes to mind well north Dakota our games are probably they've been intense oh, oh, yeah. so i kind of like them in the they're 60s. usually big games yeah well luke good luck to you i'm glad we were able to have you on and the state now knows who you thank are you. outside of shreveport bozier yes sir you got a year left tear it yes, up again sir. next year thank you and uh don't get hurt in these camps, okay? Yeah. <laughs> but that was, that was our show tonight. Austin Bro, Luke Bogan from Northwood, Austin Bro from Karen Crow, Coach Jim Gatlin, Northwood head coach, Cecil Thomas, the new coach, head coach at Sulphur. Thanks for watching us all week in the state of Louisiana. We'll see you next week.